AAC Generals. Let's see if they could come up. At tayo na manilang mas sweep in this particular match. But the UST will get the first point here. We're to see Poy Colinares. Gusto na ba nilang paspasan nito? And we're seeing more combination plays from UST's end. So parang mas ano, pinapakita na nila yung galaw talaga nila. But that was also Takulog showing us what he can contribute to the generals. They're gonna be coming up with a whole lot more, not just from Ruter Abor. Because Frel Takulog could also do the same thing for EAC. It's going to be a point here for EAC. First ball problem on UST that time around. And ito na, EAC. Okay pa eh, pagka ganito, yung parang first half of a set. Pagdating nung second half ng set, din na sila nalalayuan ng UST. And even though in the first and second set, UST was leading, parang yung the generals, they were just behind. Not by far. Or nung lumalayo na, nung mga second half of the set na nga. But right now, we can see that they're picking up the speed. Parang sumasagot sila dun sa mga attacks ng UST and yung mga blocks nila. So, let's see if um, the generals can keep that up and maintain that tempo. This has got to be a survival set for them if they want to keep their match a little bit longer. The pickup right there for USC. That's that push by G Boy. Ano yung sasagot naman ng EAC? How about that block by Paul Colinares? Where are you going to go? There. So USC up 3-2. Chan Bakam. Serves it into the net. We're now at three, serving three. Ken Sila. It's also got to show up here para sa EAC. Good dig right there. Try to be quick about it. But still unable to do it with the presence right there in front by Poy Colinares for that block. He's been consistently leading his team when it comes to blocking. Yes, with a good service. That's a lot of power. Good dick. Colinares making it happen to keep it in play for UST. EAC going for another attack, but you can only do so much. Luther Abor. Pinalik niya kay Colinares. Subukan mo uli ito. Ito tignan natin. Kailangan talaga ni Abor. Kailangan din nilang mabutos. Binabawi niya yung mga I know. <laughs> blocking sa kanya dun sa harap eh. Kaya pagdating sa likod, binanatan. This time around, ito naman. Sure, naman daw. Uh, making his presence felt. Announcing that he's on the court right now. Getting a point for UST as they are up 5-4. Oh! It's... <laughs> <laughs> Ito na naman nata ang UST, no? So, you're going great with your attacks, pero humahabol yung errors nila. And just in this five points, two points dyan galing sa UST for, you know, the general's points. Pero ito nag-error din ang EAC. And during the second set, that's what we saw. Parang palitan din ng service errors mm -hmm. on both teams. Is out. Parang 
hirap ng mga choices para sa EAC. You want to be creative. Okay, sige, let's angle it. But Pero it's also execution. Eh. And finally, that's a better way to do it. Kailangan eh. That's Takulog being creative for you. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na nagkamali ka nung una, hindi, ka, hindi mo na uulitin yung gusto mong klase ng atake na mangyari. It just takes time and yep. practice. Back to attack. Oh, Mandal right there. Bumalik. Back on this side. I think we did put a stop on him. As he goes cross court. And taking us to this technical timeout. And to muna nating Jangnan. Attack. Hakpat ba? Attack na sa Jangnan. 8-6 USD. UST is still ahead by two this time. Bistahin muna natin si Ninang Sara. <laughs> Daxia Bao is definitely one of the best setters here in the league. But during his high school days, outside hitter itong si Dax. Kita naman natin sa mga attack niya. Nakwento nga rin ito na kung hindi siya valuable player ngayon, eh malamang esports ang pinasok nitong industry. Kinig talaga ni Dax on ang online games, kaya di malabo na pati dito ay kaya niya mag-excel. Kayo ba, Bench and Hana? Ana, nahilig din ba kayo sa mobile games? Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> yun yung mobile games ko. <laughs> yun na yun. <laughs> But grabe na din yung growth ng esports in the Philippines. Oh yes. Sinabi mo pa. Part na rin ng Olympics siya tayo, esports, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's really gaining some international fame. For one thing, it's a million of people who are talking about premium channels and sports. That's for Dax Yambao. That's the way he likes it. He has a backup plan. 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 He has And bigla na naman sayang na pagkakataon for EAC. It's USC. What's up? This is the guy we were talking about earlier. So nandito siya sa volleyball. And volleyball has been very good to him somehow. Nakamuna push. There's a readiness right there. Oops, easy over na lang para rito sa panic ng EAC. And it's not gonna be easy to stop that especially with U.S. Team G-Boy De Vega. Nagpapalitan na nga ng combination plays ang parehong setter. Even Gante of um, the Generals nagko-combination play na rin. Dito na naman ba magsisimula ang paglayo ng U.S. Team against CAC as they are up by three. The set po. Oh! Good recovery! Good pick up! Back to U.S.C. Atake. Poy Colinares right there. Wala ka yung katalaan nila. No entry. And he does it single-handedly. Kaya naman niya. Hindi ko na kailangan ng backup. Papa King, thank you very much for your support and involvement in the Safiri Collegiate Challenge. That was a point for Luna. <laughs> Nag-rejoy sila kasi minsan lang naman pumuntos oh, yung mga naman. libero. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh. Kita nyo? Kita? All of a sudden, parang feeling niya. Yeah! Lahat kayo nakatingin sa akin. Ano? <laughs> Those kind of things are gonna be happening. Sabi nga, it's a great team effort. Oh, <laughs> ito, huwari talaga ngayon. The way he was able to dig that up and keep it in play. We got a rally going on here. The combination. It's going to be a point there. Sherman Umandal overcooks it. And it went out. He 
EAC. Okay, now on and Paraan down already by two sets. Frel with a serve. I'll try to be quick about it. Paul Colinares, now Ibalik, it's a side of the UST. And this time, Chan Makam blowing cross court. Look at him rejoicing with his teammates. He loved that he was able to execute that well. 13-8. And you will see very early trying to pull away, creating this big separation against their opponent and the AC Generals. The push. Buhay pa. Nagawa ng paraan ni Poy Colinares. Over the blockers. G-Boy with that push. EAC is an answer. Cross-court attack that will pave the way for a point. Ruther Abor. Kailangan gumawa ng paraan. He's willing to take on that responsibility para sa EAC Generals. Ang kita natin, napapagod din siya. Pero kailangan pa. G-Boy de Vega will get another quick point here for UST. Up 5, 14-9. It's Boy Colinares to the service area. So giving away a free point to EAC. Kasi pag nasa service line ka din, gusto mo na malakas yung mga service mo. Na you're, you're gonna want to have a service ace. Siyempre salamat din sa Jerry's Grill. Boss Jerome, long time no see. If you can also visit us here, dito sa Paco Arena. Again. Dala na rin po kayo ng sisig. Mano po ninyo. Mano po ninyo. Ganun na. Namamas ko na agad. Ha ha ha. USC will get a point and another technical timeout in set number three and USC looking good 16-10 with their advantage here and technical timeout. Ayun na, technical timeout na tayo. Still set number three, taking a look at Boy Colinares. He's uh, doing his thing also on the defensive end. Yeah. Ayun eh. Pinahihirapan niya ang EAC Generals with his presence. Sumandal serves it into the net. Another free point here for EAC Generals. Avila comes in for Mandal and for EAC. Mark Palatino. This guy has also been trying with those cross court attacks. But the presence of Poi Colinares has been creating a lot of problems for EAC. Abor. And it's going to be a point here for EAC. That violation on USD. Binawe. Binawe ni Valera. Minsan nakakagigil kasi as a middle blocker na gusto mong i-block lahat ng mga attack ng kalaban. 
Tsaka ayaw mo ang huling patatandaan sa'yo, yung mali. <laughs> Kaya bumabawi rin kami sa mga offenses. <laughs> Derecho. Looks like he's having a bit of trouble controlling his power. Sa kanina may signs of exhaustion na rin on the part of EAC. Ang hirap nito eh, di ba? Keeping it close in the early stages. And then pagdating ng home stretch, na iwan na sa ng USC. So they have to double the effort right now. Ito na naman, oh, the separation. This is now a seven-point lead that USD is enjoying. And you can see the smile on the face of G-Boy De Vega. Is it going to be a short work here for USD? Well, the game is going to be a point dito. It's going to be another error. It's going to be a count here for USD. That's already their seventh. Gura at the service area for EAC. How is this going to work out? Ball will really go for it. Well, Pakulog. <laughs> Finally. Because he can see that the cross-court attacks niya, hindi masyadong nag-work for him. So when he decided to switch it up, naka-score din siya. Relax na relax lang yung mga ghost eh, people. <laughs> Because they know they will go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> USC up six and up two sets to nothing. Parang alas line up lang may malabunga at saka Ibanez. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh Ibanez is back again. Parang pang finishing lang pagka kay Josh Ibanez na. No? Quite slowly integrating him yeah. back to his spiker position again. Good dig right there by Ibanez from back row. Here comes another attack that will pave the way for point here para sa UST. And that's him bow. Si that's him pumalo. Siya nga. Siya nga. Siya din nag integrate back to the spiker position. Coach Rod for EAC during this time out. Hihira mo ka agad eh. Kaya hindi mo alam kung ang nagagawin mo, kung kapatamayan ba sa kamay o didiretso mo sa dulo. Pasit nga yung ginawa mo. Minadali mo pa luin which is wala ka naman nakikita sa ibabaw. Elevate ka. Pag may nakita kang kamay, diretso mo sa mga weakness. Pag nakita mo, walang kamay, hindi itapon mo sa dulo. Ha? Pag-aralan nyo kasi yung galaw sa taas, hindi yung pang angat pala. Yun pala yung strategy na gustong uh -huh. gawin ni Frel. Yung kaya we thought that it was too strong kaya naga outside. But in reality, he's trying to um, dahil matataas yung blockers ng USD, pinapatama niya sana going up. Oh. Kasi he's beneath them. But now, sabi nga ni coach, you need to adjust mid-air. Which is also difficult. So, unti unti, they will learn this. EAC gets a free point off that service error by Josh Ibanez. That was outside. Yep. First spike pa lang niya. Si Malabunga, oh. Middle din to si Malabunga. Kaya yeah, nga eh. Baka pag Malabunga, middle talaga. <laughs> De Gante Pwede pa ba? Sibusubok well, There was Malabunga but that was dug up by EAC It's the over for UST Oh, Nandun Nakam with a block Ball still in play And EAC will get that point Ruther a ball a ball. He took advantage of the miscommunication on UST side. Kitang kita. 
Seven. Anong sinabi ni Abor pagkatapos niyang paluin? Ball. Ano? Aber? Aber? Ang <laughs> <laughs> daming jokes to Daily Servage. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to have a whole lot of fun. Oh. Nagatawa naman ako. <laughs> so ito, nakapapako ang UST to that 21. And still giving a chance here for EAC to get closer. Deficit is down to three. You can only hold on to your hopes. Because Jan Makam started to happen again. Pararito for this Changnan attack. Hot pot ba? Attack na sa Changnan. Zimbao, they're just three points away to get a straight set victory. Will that happen? A ball at speed with that attack. Back on the drop. Boy, Pren. Oh, you know. Look, look at that time around para sa EAC. Because they already expected na si Abor yung bibigyan. Lalo na we're at nearing the end of the match. Sherwin Ubandal has been sent back into the game. Yes, dalawa na lang ito for UST, Anna. Si Amor ay maapoy pa rin. Sabi nga, high risk, high reward, and just giving it all you've got for Ruther Amor. Kala ko sabi nga niya, aber, aber. <laughs> And now this is... <laughs> so Malabunga sent USC to match point. Six match points here. The middle blockers of USD are gaining that momentum and limelight. para ang daming... Uh -huh. Set up for them during this match. Chan back on serving for the match. And it was an ace. Talk about a brilliant ending. Wait, it's going to be a challenge here. And the AC. The beating in celebration of the UST. Nakataas na yung kamay. I know. <laughs> Binaba ulit. <laughs> And that's probably a ball-in, ball-out challenge. For sure. From Makam Service. Ay, baka sakali. It is the last point. Might as well use yeah. the challenge. Kaya nga. And they barely use challenges in this match. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Obvious, man. Ito lo yung celebration. So, yeah, nah, that was really <laughs> an ace for Jan Makam. And finishing off EAC Generals in three sets. So many have shown here para sa UST as with regards to performing. And of course, we saw Josh Ibanez back. And Joe, I'm going to break in pa siya ng UST. But everything taken care of with convincing, in convincing 